What's up guys, back here again with another install of BFI. Uh, this time something exciting, I know you guys have been waiting for this. Uh, Mark 8 DSG shifters are now available and here. Today we're gonna be going through a install guide because it's a little bit difficult and you guys may end up breaking something if you don't do it correctly. So let's go through it real quick and help you guys out. So first off guys, we're gonna be removing this trim piece that goes all the way around here. Now this is gonna be really tight up against the body. So it's gonna be very difficult to get a normal bone tool in here. So you're gonna have to find something pretty slim to get in here to release all these tabs. There's probably about eight or nine tabs that come all the way around here. This is not a two piece. Uh, these are molded together and plastic welded on the back side. Um, so you will break this if you try to separate these two pieces here. So you're gonna come and release all those, take your electrical connections loose underneath, and then everything should, in theory, pop up and nicely out. And you slide out, cause it's gonna be tucked up under the dash right around there. Got our trim panel with our shifter assembly. And flip it over then you'll see all your plastic welds for this two trim pieces i was telling you about before this is your main switch body that we need to get out this is going to have to completely come out for us to disassemble the switch portion of everything there's tabs one two three four on either side you're going to release those tabs and then keep tension as you're releasing and push in and it will allow this to pop out so you can gain access to everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that apart and then I'll show you guys the next step. So we release all eight of those tabs. We're gonna slowly take this whole assembly out at the bottom, set it on our table, set this to the side so it doesn't get scratched up. Now this is gonna be our main switch body. This upper portion here is gonna to have to come out. All right, so we've released the clip and everything. Now we gotta take our upper trim off. As you can see here, I've already loosened it. You got four tabs here, four tabs here. And then this guy just easily rocks forward because it tucks up underneath this parts switch. And then you're going to set this to the side. So we're going to have to release this upper portion from the lower portion via this access hole here. Luckily, we have a switch here so I can visually show you. Once you release it on the inside here, you're going to release towards the front of the vehicle. And you'll see there's a tab here and there's a clip that lies within this tab. So you're going to push the body all the way forward as you're pulling and it should release this away from it, which will allow you to pull this entire body out and the switch down. As you can see, we got our electrical connection here. Just be careful not to bend the pins as you pull it out. So we're gonna set that to the side, and now we can come in here and release the entire switch body if we choose to do so. Now you got your shift lever out with your switch assembly. You're gonna have two T9 uh, screws and the inside of here, I'm gonna take those out real quick so you can see what it looks like. Really helps is having a uh, magnetic screwdriver. All right, so once you got this two out, now you can fully separate and take apart your switch assembly. Now we have the exposed LED strip. So now from here, we're gonna get to the good stuff. So we're gonna be offering these in two different finishes. One's gonna be our machines, which you guys all seen, you guys all seen the black anodized. These are gonna be the two options that you're gonna be able to choose from. As you can tell, it's got a threaded portion at the top for our shift knobs, which they're going to be threaded to match. And these are going to be available in all different colors, different weights, depending on what you guys want. But from there, you, we're going to have these pockets in here that are going to allow the LED strip to shine through for your Prindle assembly here. So just like we did before, we put this guy right back on top. See how nicely that fits in there and takes up that space. And we supply two M2 pieces of hardware you just don't lose these because these are very hard to find on the ground so i'm gonna get this thing all put back together and i'll show you what the final assembly looks like all right so you got your new shift knob on with your new prindle setup let me know how you guys like it i know we spent a lot of time and development time on this and go out and get yourself one hope you guys enjoy